Hi guys, today on Divas Can Cook, we are making this cheesy barbecue turkey meatloaf. I love this meatloaf for like a really quick weekday meal. It pairs well with so many different side dishes and of course it's easy to make, so let's go. Okay, first thing we're gonna do is add some olive oil into a skillet and then we're gonna toss in our onions. Make sure you cut these onions really, really, really tiny because you don't wanna put anything big inside of a meatloaf. It's gonna like make it split and be all ugly and stuff. So really, really tiny. And my voice is like trash right now. So please excuse this nasal and nasal voice. It's kinda fun though, I kinda like it. All right, so we're gonna add in some garlic once those onions are nice and tender. And you can use butter if you don't wanna use olive oil, you know. All right, so that looks pretty good. It's smelling the bomb. I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit and then once it has cooled off, go ahead and dump this into a large bowl and it's time to start rocking and rolling, putting this meatloaf together. Okay, so I'm gonna add my ground turkey into this bowl and next I'm gonna add in a little bit of breadcrumbs. I'm using crushed croutons because you know how I feel about those crushed croutons. I love them. They're well seasoned by the way. And then I have a lot of spices and herbs to make it all good. Some, um, a beaten egg I'm gonna throw in there. And I have a little bit of ketchup that I have mixed with some barbecue sauce. Dump that right on in. And then I have some milk to add a little bit of moisture to this meatloaf to make it nice and moist because turkey meatloaf, ugh, it can be bland and it can be dry and I ain't trying to hear that honey. So I added lots of spices, some milk to get it all, you know, flavorful and stuff. Okay, just mix it up until it is combined and then add in some cheese. I'm using this Kobe Jack here. Just dump that right on in. Make sure your cheese is really really tiny really really cute like that you don't want big chunks of cheese and yeah I don't like to shred it either just put the little cubes in there because then you have those little pockets it's really good okay place this into my little grease little pan here my little loaf pan I like to use the little cheapy loaf pans whenever you're making meatloaf I don't like to use the glass ones because the cheapy ones I don't know it cooks beautiful and it has that nice little crunch on the top and on the um, sides. I just like that. So, yeah. Go ahead and try to get it as level as possible. My meatloaves are always, like, lopsided. I can never get it leveled out. I don't know why. Okay, now I'm going to brush this with some barbecue sauce. You can use homemade, but I'm using Stubbs. Um, what kind is that? I think it's called Sweet Heat. I love that kind. It's so spicy, and then it's kind of sweet. It's, like, perfect for this meatloaf. Brush that on top just like that. It looks good. Oh, my voice is like on fire, you guys. It's crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to add some parsley on top because, you know, parsley makes everything look so pretty. We're going to bake it at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then when it comes out of the oven, it'll look like this. That cheese kind of popping up a little bit. Mm -hmm, the bomb. You can go ahead and plop it out. Once it has cooled a little bit, I prefer to, like, you know, cut it on a platter, you know, like that. Okay, so now we're going to cut into this beautiful meatloaf. Look how moist it is. What? Dry who? Ah, this thing is moist and tender and soft and just meaty, flavorful, delicious, all right? I like to serve this with some potatoes and some green beans, but let me know, what do you like to serve with your meatloaf? Because I'm always looking for different side dishes to go with meatloaf, so leave it below. Let me know what you like to serve with your meatloaf. Thank you guys so much for watching. New videos every Thursday and Sunday, but mainly every Sunday because I've been missing my Thursdays, you know? Gosh, gotta get on track. But yeah, every Thursday and Sunday at 8 o'clock. Later.